Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte asks Congress to allocate an additional 4.2 billion pesos to help the Bureau of Customs or BOC to expand its workforce. In a statement released Saturday, Senator Ralph Recto says the request was stated in the President's budget message for fiscal year 2018. He adds he supports Duterte's request if it will result in reforms and measurable goals. The BOC is one of the government's sources of funds. The proposed budget will fund the hiring of more than 3,000 employees to double the BOC's workforce. It also aims to finance the restructuring of the Bureau, boost personal skills, improve systems, and modernize facilities. Lodged under the BOC Special Purpose Fund, the additional budget is on top of the Bureau's proposed 3.6 billion peso budget for 2018. The request comes as the BOC faces controversy over the 6.4 billion peso worth of shabu from China smuggled into the Philippines. The illegal drugs made it past the Bureau and were later seized during a raid at the Valenzuela City Warehouse. Philippine men's basketball team Gilas Pilipinas defeats Qatar at 80-74 in the 2017 FIBA Asia Cup on Sunday in Beirut, Lebanon. Team Pilipinas remains unscathed with a 3-0 win-loss record to move ahead to the quarterfinals of the tourney. The Philippines ran over Qatar early in the first quarter. Calvin Abueva injured his left ankle, but Carl Brian Cruz proved reliable for Gilas' backcourt offense as he shot two three-pointers. Sharpshooter Matthew Wright finished with 25 points, 2 assists, and a steal. Gabe Norwood and Terrence Romeo contributed 10 apiece to sweep the group phase of the tournament. A white nationalist rally erupted into deadly violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, Saturday in the United States, Sunday morning in Manila, as a car plowed into a crowd while demonstrators and counter-protesters clashed. Hundreds of far-right supporters gathered in Charlottesville to march in a Unite the Right rally. The incident killed one woman and wounded 19 others. Many of the far-right supporters brandished Confederate battle flags, considered a symbol of racism by many Americans, while others raised their arms in Nazi salutes. Some wore U.S. President Donald Trump's Make America Great Again slogan and riot gear. Trump in a statement says, we condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. But fellow Republicans criticized Trump for his tepid response. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says, When such actions arise from racial bigotry and hatred, they betray our core values and cannot be tolerated.